Death and Tribe, what up, what up? I told y'all we back at it. We back energized, we activated. Make sure that you drop a like on this video before we get started. And if you are new here, make sure you go subscribe to the tribe because you don't want to miss none of this game that I'm dropping on your brain. Do you dig what I'm saying? Now, y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. Today, we are speaking on it. Health is wealth. Yes, health is wealth. And I am the perfect person to give you some game on that because I myself lost 100 pounds so I can show you how you not only can lose weight, but you can hold your weight down as well as release some of that excess mucus in your body. Now me, how did I gain 100 extra pounds on my body to make me fat? I had a habit of sipping drink. I'm from Houston, Texas. I had a habit of sipping. I had a habit of being up all night, having a bad sleeping schedule. I ate McDonald's every day, Dairy Queen, Taco Bell, etc. I was laying up with different women every day, just lowering my vibrations, just weakening my masculine frame. And I didn't know any better until I said I wanted to change. And when I changed, what did I do? I got up, I started running at least a mile every day, then it turned to two miles, then three miles, but it was the hardest change that I made in my life because going from 298 pounds to 198 pounds is not something easy. But what you wanna know is, is that it does take help from not only your support team, but it takes help from yourself, believing in yourself and telling yourself you can do it, as well as sticking to your word when you set goals for yourself. Now you being on retention, this should be easy, you being on no fat this should be easy because what you are doing right now is holding in one of the hardest things it is for a man to do and that is your semen you are holding this in because you know in the end it will turn out better for you and your future family you and your future tribe but when it comes to you being healthy you got to know that that matters especially if you are trying to stand out in the pack if you are trying to attract your mate if you are trying to attract the woman for your life you must be looking good i'm gonna tell you now a woman can tell you she's cool with how you look if you out of shape she can say it's okay she can stroke your ego and say you hers you are fine all of that right but i could tell you 10 times out of 10 that she is looking at the man that is in shape 10 times out of 10 she is thinking about the man that is in shape and 10 times out of 10 if you let her go by the man that is in shape she is going to give him choosing signals so you want to make sure that that doesn't happen so you be on your a game so that means you got to switch up some of your habits that you have right now if you are somebody that likes to indulge and sweets if you are somebody that likes to indulge in chips you need to start reading the labels if you are drinking sodas you need to learn about carbonation and how it adds to your midsection so as a man if you are trying to get a six pack that is hurting you that is hurting your gains if you are on retention you are raising your testosterone levels so when you are in the gym you should be maxing out on leg day so you can carve out your quads you should be maxing out on chest day so your pecs could be poking you should be eating healthy you should be getting proper rest that was something that held me down was my rest. I had the worst sleeping schedule. And guess what? That's bad for your physical health. But not only that, that's bad for your mental health. You know how bad it was for me to communicate early in the a.m. when I wasn't getting proper rest. I felt angry. I had so much anxiety in my life at that time. I was the most stressed that I've ever been on planet Earth. And I'm 34 years old. But I could tell you right now that I'm probably more healthier than a lot of young people that watch me. And I'm probably more in shape than a lot of young people that watch me. And the way that you can do that is by starting to up your game with your health. If you are somebody that has a habit of going to these fast food restaurants and overindulging in all of this access processed food, then you must understand, understand, and overstand that your body is more prone to catching cancer. You are more prone to getting diabetes. You are more prone to having fat in this midsection and being unattractive. But it's not even about being unattractive. You want to live your best life life how can you be bossing up how can you be glowing up how can you be showing up if you are not in shape and you are not healthy on the inside so it's not about just the physical attributes and how you walk around and your aesthetics and how you look and how people want to be like you No, we are talking about the inside of your body as well we want to make sure that we are living a long healthy happy life you can't get to the bread, get to the money stack the money and have the fun yun if you are eating fun yuns.
You get what I'm saying? You eating Funyuns, you laying up all night, you scrolling through channels, and your body is not happy with you. So what do you think it's doing? It's building up so much mucus. People like to blame a lot of the excess snot, a lot of the red eyes, itchy eyes, the coughing, a lot of the drowsiness. They like to put that on allergies, and it's not. It's what you are putting in your body. Your body is rejecting it. Your body's saying, no, I don't want liquor, bro, so I'm going to give you cold sweats. I'm going to make sure that you have the chills. I'm going to make your bones, your joints ache. No, I don't want to eat the fast food. So what are you going to get? You're going to get diarrhea. You're going to start throwing up. No, you don't want to eat the candy. No, I don't want it. So what happens? You get cavities. Your gums start to hurt. Your gums start to bleed. No, you got to start realizing that your body starts to talk to you every time that you put bad stuff in it because your body is a natural healing organism. Your body is already trying to be in an alkaline state. So it's best that you stop with the red meats, stop with the porks. And I know people watch this like, who are you to tell me? I'm just somebody that lost 100 pounds. I'm just somebody that can outrun a lot of people. I'm just somebody that feel like I'm at my healthiest right now. And that comes from discipline. And that comes from a lot of years of focus, a lot of years of messing up, a lot of years of saying I'm going to do something, I not do it, and then see the results, and then I'm mad at myself, and I'm down on myself, like, nah, bro, we got to get it right, because you got to believe in yourself. So you got to believe that this big change you finna make, this extreme makeover that you're looking for from the inside out, it comes with hard work and discipline. This is not easy. If you are somebody that's like from 16, 17, 18, early 20s, mid 20s, if you are somebody around that age and you are watching me right now, let me tell you, I'm not going to get on this platform and lie to you and make you feel like this is easy. It's not, bro. This is some of the hardest stuff to accomplish. But I promise you, if you get up on it right now and you stay focused and you stay on your grind and you zone out, you will be ahead of everybody else around your area. I promise you, you'll be ahead of everybody else around your age group as well. You'll be well developed. You'll be leading the pack. I learned it later in life and it was hard. It was hard for me to accomplish losing weight piece by piece because I felt like giving up all the time. I kept telling myself I can't do it. Every time I look in the mirror and I see the side meat, I'd see the, the section right here. It'll be hanging off and I'd be down on myself, but it wasn't even about how I was looking. It was how I was feeling as well. I knew for sure that my insides weren't happy with me. So if you are not happy on the inside, do you think you're going to walk around happy? Do you think you can really hold face around everybody and act like you are happy? No, one day you're going to break down. You got to get it right. A lot of people wait till it's too late. They want to run somewhere and ask for help. Do it right now. Search right now. Research right now. Find out what you feel in your body. I promise you, YouTube and Google, you could, you could type in right now what you're feeling and they're going to give you an answer on what you should be doing or what it might be that's causing this. So you got to do your own self-help. You got to really doctor yourself up. You got to really heal yourself. Because once you start to heal yourself and once you start to feel better, then you start to live better. Once you start to live better, then you start to look better. Once you start to look better, then you start to do better. Once you start to do better, then you start to get better. Once you start to get better, then everything is better around you. You don't have the low vibrational feelings no more. You don't have that anxiety no more because you know how to work it off. You don't have that feeling of uh, being sluggish, extra lard in your body because you've cut down on anything that you was putting in there with the extra parasites, anything of the red meats, any of the porks, you stopped. You start eating better because you know what it can do to you in the future. And you have a family that you want to lead. Me getting in shape, it got me way more opportunities. People start to really look at you and say, hey, I want to be around this person, especially if you give them your testimony. That's what it's about. It's showing the before and after. I've gotten opportunities for a movie role just here recently that we just finished up. Now, granted, it might be a Tubi movie, but I still got an opportunity for the movie. That's all that matters. And guess what? I went and did my best. Went hard. That's all it's about. It's just seeing the opportunities. I'm working on an album right now. The opportunities. I am on YouTube making sure that I'm helping people change lives with what I am doing. Showing you my before. Showing you my journey. Y'all been with me since day one so y'all can see. I went from the locks in my head to the bald head 
to now we have hair on the head. I'm finna grow the beard out. I'm gonna make sure that I fast. We starting to fast today. This is the first. We starting to fast today, seven days. So y'all are gonna see the transformation as well as feel the transformation on camera. Y'all are gonna feel this day by day as I go for the next seven days of healing my body. Doing the inside work, the internal work so that the expression can be felt tremendously so it can be impactful. So it can be an intense energy when I walk in the building. I'm not holding this energy in and retaining just to say that I'm retaining. No. And I know people say, why would you retain? It causes prostate issues. I don't know that to be true. I haven't had that issue. I don't know it to not be true. But what I see is that if I continue to lead a life of just draining this, I see nothing that I gain. But if I hold it in, I see a lot of things that I gain. Story time real quick before we end this. I got a friend named Regis Progray. He's a professional boxer. He's one of the greatest to ever do it. Go look him up from New Orleans. Met him in 2005 when he came to Houston after Hurricane Katrina, right? But long story short, we are in the mountains of Colorado. I think we were in Winter Park. This was 2020, 2021. We are hiking. We working out. We reading books, getting our mind right, shifting our paradigm. And bro put me up on cold showers. He said, said, hey, you should add this into your routine. He didn't already got in tune with the discipline of taking ice baths and cold showers. Me, I was just getting in shape and getting my build right. I got kids. I got a son. I have a daughter. I'm, I'm focused on my why, on what I'm doing this for, how I'm becoming greater as a man, right? So I added the cold showers into my routine. And when I tell you health wise, it changed my life. When I say my mind, my discipline to go from hot water, warm water, whatever the case may be, and then shift it to freeze and cold water. You have to get yourself disciplined. You have to mentally be there. Not only that, early in the a.m. had me up, had me energized. If I did it at night, I slept amazing. When I start putting my face in cold water, it was activating cells, especially after me being somebody who was sipping drink and smoking cigarettes. So a lot of the stuff in my face, it was just off and I had to get my cells right. When it tightened me back up, when I was just putting my face in ice water, putting my face in an ice bowl, just getting something new to change up my health and it helped me out I do it to this day it helps my blood flow it helps my energy levels I'm telling you you could take a warm bath to clean the dirt up off of you but when I say do the cold showers to see how you start feeling and how you start building up this discipline and this mental discipline because it'll show you like hold up I'm not normal normal people they need to get into the warmth they need the comfort me, I'm making myself uncomfortable purposely to get comfortable in the end. Now, think about that when it's time for you to get on this health journey. When we say health is wealth, get uncomfortable right now so you can get very, very comfortable in the end. OK, now, if you are new to the tribe, if you are new to this family, make sure you go subscribe to the tribe. Also, like this video. Go look at my old content. Go look at some of my new content like that video because that lets YouTube know that these videos are informative. And if you are new here or you have been here, then now you see and you know that I'm dropping game on your brain. So you ain't out here looking lame. Do you dig what I'm saying? Now, stay hungry, stay healthy, stay ready to keep from getting ready. And until next time, definitely try. I'm out. Peace.